The water caltrop is any of three extant species of the genus Trepa, Trepa nottens, T. bicornis, and the endangered Trepa rossica. It is also known as water chestnut, buffalo nut, bat nut, devil pod, ling nut, ling cock, ling keo nut, or singara. The species are floating annual aquatic plants, growing in slow moving water up to 5 meters deep, native to warm temperate parts of Eurasia and Africa. They bear ornately shaped fruits, which in the case of T. bicornis resemble the head of a bull or the silhouette of a flying bat. Each fruit contains a single very large starchy seed. T. nottens and T. bicornis have been cultivated in China and India for at least 3,000 years for the edible seeds. Etymology, the generic name trepa is derived from the Latin word for thistle, calcitrapa, as also is another common name for the water cool chop. The Chinese name is lengjico, la ng meaning cool chop, and jiko meaning hon. This is often rendered as ling nut by English speakers. In India the plant has different regional names, such as singada, pani fail, or shingoda. The plant's name in Japanese is hishi, a word meaning diamond or lozenge shaped. Biology The water cool trop's submerged stem reaches 12 to 15 feet in length, anchored into the mud by very fine roots. It has two types of leaves, finely divided feather like submerged leaves borne along the length of the stem, and undivided floating leaves borne in a rosette at the water's surface. The floating leaves have saw tooth edges and are ovoid or triangular in shape, 2 euro 3 cm long on inflated petioles 5 euro 9 cm long, which provide added buoyancy for the leafy portion. Four petaled white flowers form in early summer and are insect pollinated. The fruit is a nut with four 0.5 in, barbed spines. Seeds can remain viable for up to 12 years, although most will germinate within the first two years. The plant spreads by the rosettes and fruits detaching from the stem and floating to another area on currents or by fruits clinging to objects, and animals. This plant should not be confused with the unrelated Elia charis dulcis, also called a water chestnut. Elia charis is also an aquatic plant raised for food since ancient times in China. Elia charis dulcis is a sedge, whose round, crisp fleshed corms are common in Western-style Chinese food. Fossil record, the genus has an extensive fossil record, with numerous, distinctive species. Undisputed fossilized seeds have been found in Cenozoic strata starting from the Eocene throughout Europe, China and North America. The oldest known fossils attributed to the genus, however, are of leaves from Cretaceous Alaska, referred to the species, T. borealis. History Investigations of archaeological material from southern Germany indicate that the prehistoric population of that region may well have relied significantly upon wild water chestnuts to supplement their normal diet and, in times of cultivated cereal crop failure, water chestnuts may even have been the main dietary component. Today, water caltrop is so rare in Germany that it is listed as an endangered species. Water caltrop has been an important food for worship as prayer offerings since the Chinese Zhou dynasty. The rites of Zhou mention that a worshipper should use a bamboo basket containing dried water caltrops, the seeds of a real ferox and chestnuts. The Chinese herbal medicine summary indicates that water caltrop can help fever and drunkenness. In India and Pakistan it is known as singara or pinifal and is widely cultivated in freshwater lakes. The fruits are eaten raw or boiled. When the fruit has been dried, it is ground to a flower called Singaka Atta. Singaka Atta is used in many religious rituals and can be consumed as a falaya on the Hindu fasting days, the Navratas. It was possible to buy water chestnuts in markets all over Europe until 1880. In northern Italy the nuts were offered roasted, much as sweet chestnuts are still sold today. In many parts of Europe water chestnuts were known and used for human food until the beginning of the 20th century. Today, however, it is a rare plant. There may be several reasons for its near extinction, such as climate fluctuations, changes in the nutrient content of water bodies, and the drainage of many wetlands, ponds and oxbow lakes. Trepanotans was introduced to Massachusetts around 1874 as a planting in the Harvard University Botanic Garden. 
staff gardener Louis Gourinou took it upon himself to throw seeds into Fresh Pond and other Cambridge waterways. This came to the attention of Medford-based botanist George E. Davenport, who decided to bring seeds and live plants to his friend Minor Pratt, in Concord. He and Pratt seeded a pond near the Sudbury River, and he suspected Pratt conducted additional distributions. As early as 1879 there was a concern voiced by botanist Charles Sprague Sargent, director of Boston's Arnold Arboretum, that this non-native species threatened to become a nuisance, based on dense growths reported in Cambridge. Davenport confessed in an entry in the Bulletin of the Terray Botanical Club, Volume 6, page 352, I have several times had plants of trepanotans that were collected in the vicinity of Boston, during the present year, brought to me for identification, and I have entertained no doubt as to the manner of its introduction into waters outside Cambridge Botanic Garden. But that so fine a plant as this, with its handsome leafy rosettes and edible nuts, which would, if common, be as attractive to boys as hickory nuts now are, can ever become a nuisance I can scarcely believe. This species has been declared invasive species from Vermont to Virginia. They are also classified noxious weeds in Florida, North Carolina, and Washington. In Australia, and its state of New South Wales water caltrop has been declared a noxious weed. Role in transmission of facialopsis, facialopsis can be transmitted via the surfaces of these and other water plants. During the metasacarial stage in their life cycle, the larval flukes leave their water snail hosts, and swim away to form cysts on the surfaces of water plants, including the leaves and fruit of water cool trops. If infected water plants are consumed raw or undercooked, the flukes can infect pigs, humans and other animals. Facialopsis results from infection by the trematode Facialopsis buski odhner, 1902, the largest intestinal fluke of humans. Chemistry, bicornin is an elagitanin found in T. bicornis. Notes, Berry, Edward. Two new tertiary species of T. R. A. P. A., Hollick, Charles Arthur. The tertiary floras of Alaska, issues 181 a Euro 184. United States Government Print Office. Pages 156. A. B. Karg, S. 2006. The water chestnut as a food resource during the 4th to 1st millennia BC at Lake Feeder Sea, Bad Butch Hay. Environmental Archaeology 11, 125 Euro 130. De, Wassenos, Tips to a Healthy Navotra. The Times of India. R. W. Pemberton. Water Chestnut. In Van Driesch, R. A. L. Biological Control of Invasive Plants in the Eastern United States. USDA Forest Service. HTTP, Plants Us de Gervrophile. Symbol equals TRBI5, Bicornin, a new hydrolyzable tannin from Trepa Bicornis, and revised structure of Alnacine. Yoshida T. Yazaki K., Memon M. U., Marayama I., Kurokawa K. and Okuda T., Heterocycles. 1989, Volume 29, Number 5, Pages 861 Euro 864-INIST, 6780591. External links, Multilingual Taxonomic Information from the University of Melbourne, Species Profile Water Chestnut, National Invasive Species Information Center, United States National Agricultural Library. Lists general information and resources for water chestnut. Trepanotans in West African plants a Euro a photo guide.